Hi, my name is Corey Pickard and I'm 20 years old and I'm looking to be an amateur bodybuilder. I started working out just outside, like when I, kind of when I got out of school, I kind of had a lot of friends that got into it, you know, a lot of big guys, you know, they were playing rugby and things like that and I was like, cool, that'd be, that'd be pretty sweet to be like, kind of like, more muscular and, you know, things like that. I hope the girls like it. Uh, my biggest inspiration, I'm not gonna lie, I love Dwayne Johnson, not just because he's a natural bodybuilder or whatever and, you know, he's, he's a big movie star and everything, he's also a really down-to-earth guy and he's really relatable and... I find that if you follow someone on social media or just in general that inspires you and they're down to earth, you really can connect with them. I feel like it's easier to achieve your goals and attain goals that you know they set. They also say they always say push yourself more, and you know he has some real, some real good videos on Instagram, just like kind of, you know, with real talk on it. Empty gym, the iron paradise. This is my therapy. I encourage everybody out there to find your therapy. Plus, this shit is cheaper than a shrink. I feel like social media has really expanded this particular sport as well, just with all the exposure people get. It also allows people to develop like kind of fitness apps and things like that, where you know people can just download an app and for they can press start for 10 minutes and runs them through a routine. And you know it's like a 10 minute workout at home body weight, and like you know at least they're getting up and doing something in the morning. It's a good way that like bodybuilders or big bodybuilders can kind of like kind of connect with their fans and like you know the people that are genuine and real can really talk to their fans and all like some that I follow, they. At one point they were extremely overweight, they they actually showed, they showed off like their stretch marks from the past and it's all hidden, they all hide it, they even said, you know, we openly admit they hide it in the cameras and stuff like that, or like behind the cameras, Photoshop editing, so it's not all, it's not always as it seems, but a lot of genuine people on social media really talk to you about that and it can be like, it can, it can be inspiring. The worst thing about social media, in all honesty, is probably seeing all these guys, and like girls if you're, if you're a girl, up there and you're kind of, you're kind of just starting out or you're, You've been training for a year or so and you, you've seen some progression but then you see these guys that are just completely shredded, they look really good, you know, like, like nice looking guys and everything like that. You kind of you kind of look at yourself in the mirror and go like, man, how am I ever going to get like that one day? And it's kind of, you know, and especially when they do those progress picks and it's taken them five years to get where they are, it kind of just kind of, you know, I've only been training for like a year and, you know, like four more years of like strict dieting and, you know, training and I'll maybe get there. It just depends, you know, whether or not you stick to it. There's just a lot of different elements that you have to take into consideration when getting into this and really getting involved with this sport. But a lot of them are also, like the ones you see on men fitness and things like that, they're all, almost all of them are Photoshop. How does social media affect my progress? Honestly, it can be, it can be, it depends on what type of day it is. Sometimes you'll wake up and you'll, you'll feel, maybe like, I don't know, you'll kind of feel not very achieved, especially with all the effort you've put in over the past like year or X amount of years you've been training. I know for me, some days I get up and I see my posts and I'm like, yeah, I really want to be like that. And I get out and I train, I train really hard. And then some days, I don't know, you might be having an off day, it might have been work, maybe it's some like family issues, personal issues, and you kind of see a photo and you think, wow, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna get there. So it, it can swing both ways, but overall, I feel like it's a positive, it's a positive thing having, you know, like the social media and following a lot of bodybuilders and things on social media, especially the down to earth, genuine ones. And like anyone can do it if you really put your eye into it. It's just that hard work, dedication and time that you really have to put in to achieve where you want to go.